The CBS News has already confirmed much of what we heard, that the suspect was in the tree line or the bushes armed with an AK-47 style rifle with a scope. Um, approximately three to 500 yards away, about a football field distance away. Uh, our teams have reported out about uh, one to two golf holes away. Here we go again. Oh yeah, Didi got a podcast. Man, welcome back to another episode of the Ruling Class Podcast. I'm your host, Didi, back up in this witch with another episode, man. Listen, if you're new to the show, I ask that you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for being here. Please hit the notification bell. Look, let, let's, let's just tap right into this. So a second assassination attempt or an almost assassination attempt was just made on Donald Trump's life again. So many questions. I go to the news clip. CBS News has already confirmed much of what we heard, that the suspect was in the tree line or the bushes armed with an AK-47 style rifle with a scope um, approximately three to 500 yards away, about a football field distance away. Uh, our teams have reported out about uh, one to two golf holes away. Um, it sounds, I'm going to go ahead and bring in Anna Schechter here, who leads our crime and public safety unit at CBS News. And Anna, it sounds to me as though a witness spotted um, the person trying to run away after presumably the Secret Service engaged, um, because we do know that the Secret Service engaged in gunfire. We don't know if that suspect returned fire, but that a witness saw this person trying to flee in the car, snapped a picture of the vehicle license plate. They were able to alert law, enfor law enforcement throughout the state, and that vehicle was spotted on I-95 going into Martin County and stopped, and that person was apprehended, believed to be the person who was pointing this weapon at the former president. That's right, and the, you heard the sheriff there pointing out this witness who was crucial in these moments immediately following this incident. It's still unclear if the person was able to fire off any shots. Mm -hmm. If he did so, uh, that remains unclear, and you saw their officials said that that continues to be unclear. We heard from Palm Beach County State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg there at the podium that he is preparing a warrant. Uh, so the process is now in place. We understand from our colleagues in D.C. they are reporting that uh, an interview is underway at this time. The sheriff said that the suspect made no statement at the time of apprehension. But it is stunning that the individual was able to get in his car, drive off and head down I-95 uh, only to be apprehended later. The first question I have from this news clip is, can you at least get your facts straight? It makes me question if this stuff is even real. It makes me question if, if the rest of what you're saying is even credible. Three to 500 yards away, the size of a football field. Lady, a football field is about 120 yards long when, you, when you're including both end zones. 300 yards, three to 500 yards is about three to five football fields. <laughs> not one that's first and foremost secondly i i'm i'm just my mind is baffled y'all like i've said this before i'm gonna say it again say it again i'm still trying to understand how somebody can get assassination attempts on 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 presidents and presidential candidates like i understand that nobody is necessarily untouchable but we talking about the people who are considered like the the uh, the upper society like if you running for pre i'm under the belief that if you running for president let alone have become president you're probably a part of the secret clubs or whatever you want to call it people can't make it to you unless they're supposed to make it to you bro people won't get a fair attempt on your life unless they're supposed to get a fair attempt on your life that's the belief i'm under so when i'm hearing these attempts on this dude's life i'm really torn between i don't know if i want to believe that this stuff is orchestrated i don't know if i want to believe that like it's like it is it, is trump and the people that supporting trump set this up to like so they can make people feel sorry for him is it people that's actually trying this no matter what you fall at on, on the spectrum though we don't support this nobody should support this political violence any type of violence let alone political violence should not be tolerated period it should never be tolerated I don't, bro, it's just, at this point, bro, like, and then after the debate, 
which I didn't even cover on this channel. I, I think that debate, first of all, I think Donald Trump lost that debate. <laughs> and it scorns my heart to have to say that. Not because I'm a Donald Trump supporter, but it's because I just disagree with so much stuff with Kamala, bro. We don't even know who she is, really. We don't even know what she stands for. It's a lot of things I just don't agree with, right, politically speaking. But he lost that debate, in my opinion. I think he started off pretty pretty solid. But I think he had a whole lot of opportunities that he missed, bro. A lot of missed opportunities in that debate. And I just think his performance was just terrible, right? I think he did a lot of lying. I think Kamala did some lying. Kamala had help from the... Um, from the moderators, absolutely she had help, but I digress. I just think like after the debate, it's just weird to me. Like right after this debate, this is I don't know. It's, it's just weird, man. Have y'all seen this? Have y'all heard about the story? Hop in the comment section, give me your thoughts. I, I at this point, I don't even know what to think anymore, bro. I don't wish death on anybody. I don't wish harm on anybody, especially physical harm. Like, what does this country come to, bro? What are we doing? Hop in the comment section. Give me your thoughts on what you think about the story. Do you believe it? Do you believe this stuff is real? Do you think it's been, it's a setup? Do you think it's a, what do they call it, propaganda? Hop in the comment section and give me your thoughts, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Oh, yeah. Diddy got a podcast.